Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. My name is Nathan and today we're going to be starting our time to explore Azeroth in World of Warcraft. I am very excited to start this series as it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, it's just been one of my favorite games of all time and I haven't really started a series on World of Warcraft. Now if people do remember, uh, we did release a couple of videos years back where I actually discovered the Caverns of Consumption um, that the WoW Secret Guild or Finder or whatever the Discord community, they actually completed the Caverns, but I was the one to actually discover it. So pretty cool history there. But today's adventure is going to lead us into the Coaling of Stratholme, uh, one of my favorite dungeons in the game. And the reason being is I just love the lore behind uh, Arthas and the Lich King and Lordaeron and kind of the uh, the whole, you know, plague that happened and all that. Um, but we're going to be exploring a lot of the out of bounds area of this dungeon, um, mainly using the Demon Hunter class. And the reason why we use this class is because of not only the double jump and the wings and the glide, but there's a uh, move called Metamorphosis that you can use that uh, you actually can clip out of bounds easier. And, and I don't know why that it's just a way that it works, but... So yeah, we're going to start with uh, Colony of Shadow. So I hope you enjoy it. We're going to be looking at a lot of cool places in the dungeon. And um, hopefully we get to see a lot of uh, interesting things. Now, one of the things that you'll actually see coming right out of the gate of starting the dungeon is the entrance here to start uh, the map. We're actually not going to go down that way. We're going to take a right at the fork here. And we're going to go down this pathway. Now, coming down this pathway, it's going to stop us, obviously. We're going to hit an invisible wall. Um, but what's really cool here is you can see Eastern Plaguelands before it was destroyed and a lot of the WoW classic, uh, Eastern Plaguelands, a lot of vanilla. And so, yeah, so we've already hit the invisible wall. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use our metamorphosis and we're going to jump out this way. And there we go. We're out of bounds. So pretty simple, pretty easy. We're going to mount back up and we're going to head out this way. And I'm going to shut up for a minute and let you enjoy some of the scenery. And one of the first stops we're going to be stopping out here with one of our um, four of Calling of Stratholme is this out of bounds area. Obviously, you can see the edge of the map here and kind of where it cuts off. But there's a really cool tree back here that I believe is in the retail game, um, but it's like really creepy looking, but it's pretty cool. And it's all carved out and looks like it should be like an Halloween set or something. But it's one of the cool things I like to go look at first when I'm back here. All right, we're going to continue this way. And one of the cool things about going this way is we could see the edge of the map. So we're going to go right up here over this mountain or this little hill. And as you can see, we are at the edge of the map already. One of the cool things here is you can actually see the shadows. You can see our shadow here and you can actually see the shadow of the trees on the uh, map floor. And if you zoom out, you can kind of get a little bit of a view of the map and the edge of the world here. All right, we're going to head this way to the left. And we're going to check out the scenery again. Now, normally here there would be water because you can see a bridge so there should be a body of water here normally but because we're out of bounds on the map and you were never supposed to see this the water is gone oh by the way checking out another one of those cool trees right over here kind of get a better look at this one than the other one What we're going to do is we're going to head over here to the left. And actually, we're going to wrap around this way real quick. We're going to cut back over the river. 
And you can see a little bit of runes and stuff left over from the Eastern Plague Lands. So we're actually going to head back this way, to the left. And over here you got some more runes and houses that are destroyed. Normally in the Eastern Plague Land map. And there is a... Uh, actually a lake that's supposed to be over here that you normally aren't supposed to see um but there's no water so it's just kind of some stuff that's normally at the bottom of the lake that you can see like the bones and the skulls and all that but it's pretty cool to check out now i'll be honest with you there's not much over here um as i have explored this before uh you can go back there if you want to go see it it's really just the edge of the map and just more mountain ranges but nothing really special back there so we're actually going to head back this way and I'm going to let you enjoy. As we're venturing along, uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to go see a rune structure of a house that's kind of just floating in midair, which is pretty weird. And some uh, other structure here, and you can see kind of a chair and a box and actually not a chair, sorry, a box and some skull and bones. And I'm assuming there's some water right here normally, but I just don't remember up top of my head. You can actually walk up here, and there's actually a little house you can get into as, as well. Excuse me. Now we're going to head back this way. Now one of the favorite things, my favorite thing, especially about getting out of bounds in this map, is there's a lot of cool leftover structures from uh, Vanilla WoW that you can see, especially in the Eastern Plague Land. So you can see over here. And then if you come up here, there's a little hut. And actually the fire torches are still lit, which is pretty cool. Now, one of my favorite things that I mentioned before is um, coming back over here on the left. We're going to see a uh, a night elf looking structure that looks very similar to the Hunter Lodge in uh, Lock Modem. Lodge Modem? Lock Modem? I don't know if you know if I'm saying that right. Before we go explore the lodge, we're going to actually head right here on the path. And one of the cooler things about glitching out of this bounds of this map, or this dungeon as you could say, is I was curious to see if they actually had left the entrance to the ghost lands up here, and they actually did. Which is really cool, so you can actually see the full-fledged portal going into the ghost lands. Now, I know what you're all thinking. You gotta walk through it. I will. Let's see what happens. And nothing. Okay. <laughs> but what's also really cool is you can see a pink box here that's sticking out. Now why this is here, I don't know. Maybe someone can explain this better. But it's a pretty cool view right here that you can get. It's just interesting that they leave stuff like this inside. Knowing that nobody is ever supposed to see it to begin with. Now we're going to mount back up and we're going to go take a look at the Night Elf structure over here on the right. Oh, 
All right, now that we've arrived at the Night Elf looking structure here, this one looks very familiar to the one in Launch Modem, uh, which is really cool. And you can actually go inside of it, which is really neat. You can walk around and you get a good little cool view of uh, the mountains over here. All right, we're going to jump back this way. We're actually going to make our way back to the path. And we're going to head this way. And one of the reasons we're going to head back this way is because we don't want to go back out of or inbounds. We want to stay out of bounds. And there's really a lot of easy ways to clip back into bounds. If we're not careful. And we want to make sure we don't do that. And what's really funny about this map is, you know, how terrible the event that happened in Lordaeron is, but it's so peaceful out here in the forest when you're walking around. Reminds me of Elwyn Forest a lot. And then there's a random torch out here. All by itself. And if you come this way to the left, you can see the lake that we had, you know, saw earlier. That's empty. Get another cool view of that. And we're going to head stick to the right here. And we're going to head along the mountain path here on the left side because we're going to hug the wall as much as possible. Because if you actually head to the right here, you can actually clip back into bounds and we don't want to do that. But there's a little village right here in the graveyard. And then we're going to head to the left here. And we're going to stick all the way to the mountain left side here. And we're going to hug the wall. Because if you don't hug the wall, you'll clip back into bounds and it's not great. So. Trust me, I've been there, I've done that, and I got to go all the way back around re-glitch out and go walk all the way around again and it's, it's not fun so we're just gonna stick to the left side over here All right, as we finally make it across the map, we're going to come up to this little homestead over here that's been torn apart by the undead, obviously, the Forsaken. And you can actually go into these houses, which is really cool. Not much in them. But they are, you can go inside of them, and the music actually changes. And what's interesting back here is you actually can't go in the underground here. They stop you. So why that is, I don't know. It's just so funny that Blizzard will let you go walk in the houses, but you know, they're like, no, can't go underground. It's too much. All right, and one of the other cool things is we're going to make our way this way along the left side here. And there's actually a cave we can go into. Now, what's interesting about this cave is the entrance on the other side, which you're normally never supposed to get to or walk in. So why they kept it here, I don't know. Why it's so visible, I guess, just for the environment. But here's the back of the cave here. And we're going to head to the entrance and we're going to walk through it. Now, something cool about this cave is uh, it actually 
dismounts you and actually thinks you're actually in a real cave. So here's the front of the cave here and we're going to walk through and you'll see here I'll get dismounted and the music actually changes as well which I thought was interesting but if we actually go through all the way through the cave in the back here we're going to clip through the other side and there's no exit All right, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to head up here on the hill. We're going to hug the left side and we're going to go up here. And one of the cool things is you can actually fly into Lordaeron without it being loaded. So if you want to skip some of the Stratholm, calling of Stratholm instance or dungeon or whatever you want to call it, you can. And if you come up here, you can get a good, cool view of the backside Lordaeron. That you're not normally supposed to see you can see the front tower and everything here and then you can see the edge of the map here so what's interesting is actually when you walk into the gates over here it loads in the map but over here the map's actually not loaded so it's like its own separate area here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to skip some of the lorder on map and see if we can get on the back side here we go we're gonna fly in stratholm all right where are we Now, what's interesting here, because we skipped and flew in the backside, normally there's a door back here that you can walk through. Uh, you can't walk through yet, I mean, excuse me. If I, if I remember correctly. I think normally there's a door that loads here, and you're not supposed to get in there yet without going through the whole event of, you know, the dungeon and doing everything. And just walk straight through now. But I don't know. So maybe someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I would be interested to see getting on the back side of the dungeon over here. But. Anyways, guys. That is the calling of Stratholm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like if uh, you could, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And I hope you guys enjoy the future World of Warcraft Out of Bounds videos and exploring the world of Azeroth. As always, my name is Nathan. Take care.